Welcome to our demo today of eTapestry MailChimp integration. I appreciate all of you joining us. My name is Jeff Hegwood. I'm an eTapestry consultant and the owner of Sidekick Solutions. Sidekick Solutions is an independent consulting company that helps organizations like all of yours uh, get the most from eTapestry software. My goal today is to show you how our MailChimp integration works, answer your questions, and hopefully I'm going to get you out of here in less than 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and dive into the demo here. Although eTapestry comes with a mass email feature, many eTapestry users send email campaigns through an alternative email marketing platform like MailChimp. The problem is that using non-integrated email marketing systems present a few challenges. Number one, how do I get my subscriber lists into eTapestry as new accounts? And number two, how do I get my constituents into MailChimp as new email subscribers? Currently, you have three options, and in my opinion, all of them are really a complete waste of time. The first is you can enter data manually, like adding a new account to eTapestry when you get a new subscriber in MailChimp, or adding a new subscriber in MailChimp when you get a new account or a new donor in eTapestry. Second option is to import data. You could run an export list from eTapestry of all of your donors this year or this month when you need to send a new email campaign from MailChimp. The third option is to keep eTapestry and MailChimp separate. You could prompt donors to subscribe to your email lists in MailChimp and you could also prompt subscribers who are subscribed to your lists in MailChimp to become donors. So if you're like me, you're probably feeling the pain of those solutions. You might be doing some of these already and you're not alone. So our integration automatically creates subscribers in MailChimp based on new accounts created in eTapestry. Our integration can optionally create new constituents in eTapestry based on new subscribers in MailChimp. And we'll go through both of those workflows here in a second. Our integration is near real time, refreshing about every 15 to 20 minutes. So that means there's no more double data entry, no more cumbersome imports. You also get some pretty cool benefits like the ability to scale your email marketing efforts quickly. The ability to segment subscribers automatically and accurately in your MailChimp lists. And you can also simplify the prep for new email campaigns rather than cleaning lists before each email send. You can even use MailChimp's automation features to send targeted emails in a series to people like new donors, lapsed donors, or a variety of other constituents using drip email campaigns in MailChimp. So let's go ahead and see how this integration works. So now you should be seeing the eTapestry database on the left and a MailChimp account on the right. So we're going to do two scenarios. The first, we're going to add a new donor to eTapestry. And I'm going to show how that creates a new subscriber in MailChimp. And then we're going to add a new subscriber in MailChimp and show you how that makes an account in eTapestry. So I'm going to create a subscriber in MailChimp. We're going to create King Arthur in MailChimp, and you can see that he is not currently in our list here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add an account. And I'm going to add an email address. I'm going to skip the rest of the data entry because the email is the thing we're most concerned about here. I have a required field down here at the bottom, so I'll fill that out. And I'm going to navigate to the journal because my integration is set up to only add new donors. So I'm going to add a gift. Let's say this gift is $10. 
enter our data here. It doesn't really matter what this gift is, as long as it's a received transaction. So now we can see that we have a new account in eTapestry, and this new account has given a gift. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my MailChimp account, and you can see that King Arthur was added to my list. Here's his email address. I've mapped the first name and the last name, and I've also mapped a unique ID from eTapestry, just in case we need to go back and forth or ever reference that number in eTap. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at adding a new subscriber to MailChimp and how that adds a new account in eTapestry. Now this might happen if you have sign-up forms on your website for someone to subscribe to your newsletter, or you have some other sign-up form related to your MailChimp lists. Now I'm gonna skip the sign-up form of the MailChimp demo because that will require a double opt-in, which is a MailChimp standard. I'm just going to add a contact manually and show how that flows through. The process is exactly the same. So I'm going to add a new subscriber, and we are going to add Guinevere here. She goes short by Gwen. Whoops get the names right. And now you can see that Guinevere has been added to our MailChimp account. Now currently, Gwen is not in our database. No results found. I'm going to go ahead and trigger our integration. to the home page here. You can see that we now have a new account in eTapestry with an email listed on the primary personal persona for this account. You can also see that we've mapped short salutations, long salutations, envelope salutations, and in our account settings, we can see that we've cho chosen the name format of individual and filled in the first and last name as provided in MailChimp. So there's lots of different ways that we can set up an eTapestry and MailChimp integration. Based on our experience, there's some recommended options or preferences that you might select or, and also that we recommend as a part of this integration. So the first is that we recommend at minimum and primarily a one-way sync from eTapestry to MailChimp. This means you would send groups from eTapestry like all donors to a MailChimp list. We don't recommend that you send MailChimp subscribers to eTapestry unless they donate, which you probably already have a process for adding gifts in eTapestry, so that process would automatically add them as donors anyways. I'm gonna to get to why we don't recommend moving subscribers from MailChimp to eTapestry in just a moment. We recommend that you use MailChimp as your only email marketing platform using no other tools. And we also recommend that you manage email marketing settings, data, and preferences in MailChimp as that's where you would send your emails. Now there's probably some questions about the integration, so let's go ahead and, and tackle a few of those up front, and then we can get into more questions as we get into this. So first, it's important to understand that our focus in building this integration was not to be a comprehensive integration. Our belief is that the majority of the headache that we spend managing email lists between MailChimp and eTapestry is actually spent moving emails physically between the two systems. Many organizations that we've talked to, we've worked with a few, we've even used MailChimp and have done this process before, you can spend one to three, even more hours running imports before each email campaign and cleaning your lists. 
With our integration, you should be able to send email campaigns more frequently, immediately, and with less hassle. So our goal is we wanna give you the most value for your time, even though we may give up some of the more sexier features of a comprehensive integration. One question that we get is, how do we apply subscriber preferences in MailChimp? So let's say you've set up groups in MailChimp, we wanna apply those. So we recommend using, as a best practice, and MailChimp recommends this too, that you use a single list in MailChimp. So one list, and that you break those segments up in that list by groups. Our integration can send constituents from eTapestry two separate groups in a MailChimp list. So we can support that piece. Another question that we get is, what about flagging MailChimp unsubscribes in eTapestry? If someone unsubscribes in MailChimp, I wanna know about that in eTap. So our integration can send unsubscribes from MailChimp to eTapestry, but we don't necessarily think that it needs to. Um, if MailChimp is the only source of your email campaigns, you can manage unsubscribes in MailChimp. Another question, what about multiple emails per persona? So what happens if in eTapestry someone has another email address? This is a common convention that we see in eTapestry. So our integration passes the first email address on the primary persona, this email right here. MailChimp and eTapestry don't really see eye to eye in terms of these, these fields and how these fields are used. So we're somewhat limited. We can only pass one email to MailChimp at a time. And when we have accounts that have multiple email addresses in this format, we have to strip out the, the the portions of the email address that we can't deal with. So we take the first email address and strip out everything after that. So another question that we get is what happens when a subscriber updates their email? So our integration doesn't pass updated emails from eTapestry to MailChimp, but again, we don't really think that it needs to. If MailChimp manages your subscriber data, then subscribers can update their information there. And the last one, and this is the big one, and it goes back to our original point about comprehensive integration, where does the email send, open, and click data go? How does that integrate with eTapestry? So our integration doesn't send this data from MailChimp to eTap. And again, we don't think that it needs to. MailChimp is set up with best practice reporting tools for email marketing, and they are set up for that very specific purpose. So the question comes up, why recreate that data in eTapestry and create separate reporting tools outside of MailChimp? We don't think that you need to do that. Um, we think that the primary issue here in terms of integration is moving email addresses from list to list. A side note, should you want to correlate a, a segment of data from MailChimp with a segment of data from eTapestry, you can simply do that in Excel with a very quick pivot. So let's talk about the details of how our integration works in terms of how you would um, interact with us and how we would support you with this integration. Setup is free. It's a monthly subscription to keep the integration active. There's no long-term contracts, you can cancel at any time, and we take care of all the technicals, including maintenance, support, monitoring, and the hookup with your API through eTapestry. So if you're excited about this integration, um, you can send me an email and we can get you set up as soon as next week. Again, it takes about a less, less than an hour of a time commitment from you. Also, if you're doing the math and you, you're thinking, the conclusion is that manual processes are more efficient than this. Um, please reach out to me. I, I'd love to hear from you. Send me an email. We can set up a time to chat. I want to learn about your processes and see if there's a way that we can work together to save you some time.
So saving time, money, stress, effort, headaches on integrations, don't stop with MailChimp. We have other integrations that we've set up. Um, this list here are, are the integrations that we offer. Some of the top ones are QuickBooks Online, PayPal, Eventbrite, Shopify. We can do custom integrations, and I'd be happy to talk about your project if there's an app that you have that's not on this list. So I've got a list of questions that have been coming through here. We've set up an eTapestry defined field to track our subscriber preferences. Will this work in your integration model? Yes. So if those preferences map to a group in MailChimp or separate lists in MailChimp, although we don't recommend separate lists because unsubscribes in one list in MailChimp don't apply to another list, but we can take uh, segments of your data that are set as preferences on the defined fields page and map them to your appropriate lists. When an email is sent from MailChimp, does it create a journal entry like the eTapestry constant contact integration? No, it does not. We are just simply moving email address and, and helping you to manage your lists. Is there a way to prevent certain donors from going to MailChimp like foundations or corporations? Yes, we can set who goes to MailChimp in terms of their preferences, their demographics, how they interact with your organization. If there's a, if we can identify it in eTapestry, then we can send it to MailChimp accordingly or exclude people from that. So there was a question about um, our other integrations. Are they all with eTapestry? Yes, all of these integrations are with eTapestry. So we integrate eTapestry with QuickBooks Online, MailChimp, PayPal, Eventbrite, Formstack, and the rest. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any other questions, so we'll go ahead and close down for now. I appreciate everybody uh, jumping on today. Thank you, everyone.